my people will perish for lack of knowledge. It's not just the political media machine, guys. It's the religious church, not even a church, really. I'm not even calling it a church. It's if you're taught wrong, you live wrong. Man, where's it coming from? The enemy. Started in the garden, guys. It, it, okay, it wasn't just Eve's fault. Adam's too. He fell for it too, guys. I hear that. I hear that story. I read the scriptures. That's what the enemy's doing. He's twisting it. It's in Isaiah 27 and 1. But what did he tell him? Eve first. But then Adam fell for it too, guys. Did God really say that? It's a lack. It's a spirit of lack, guys. That's a big deception right now. You're going to lack your, jo your job and your income and your weight and your livelihood if you don't take the shot. Lack, lack, lack. You're going to lack because there's no supply ships. You're going to lack Christmas gifts because there's no ships coming in. Who cares? You better start trusting in God. I said this a long time ago. Last year, I said, what are you going to do when gas hits 10 bucks a gallon? You better be praying now that God will help you find the 10 bucks to put in your gas tank. I put this message out a year ago. There's going to be a, a famine in the land for the lack of the word. It was Amos 8 and 11. And the message was there was going to be a storm coming from 8-11 to 9-11, 2020. Look it up, guys. It's on, it's on my YouTube channel. People have made the decisions already, a lot of them. All they want to do is lack. The media lack, you know, breaking news. What are you lacking? Like you're lacking something. They want you to make you think that you're lacking something if you don't have the greatest and latest technology and the greatest and latest phone. Everything's lack, 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 lacky, lacky, lacky. There's no lack when you know Jesus. If he has to feed you like the ravens, guys, he wants us to trust in him. Manna from heaven. If he has to rain down manna from heaven. Water from a stone, guys. Abraham lacked nothing when he made that decision. Gave it to Lot. And he ended up with the better end of the deal. There is no lack in God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. The world full of it. And they just want us to lack and lack and lack and lack. Why? For control. Lack of knowledge. Why do they hide everything? What are they hiding? Because it's power in the lack of knowledge. And I'm not talking about that, you know, man, one of my other messages, lean not on your own understanding. We're still trying to figure out who shot JFK and if we landed on the moon because the flag's blowing the wrong way in the wind. Come on, guys. Yeah, I'd like to know some stuff, too. That would be cool. You know, that's just, you know, people. It's man or woman. But is it relevant to the, anything in the kingdom? Not really, guys. Time to get a grip. Y'all, Un undeniable, everlasting, true word of God. And even quit listening to other people, the preachers. Get it for yourself. That's my message, guys. Dig, dig, dig into the word and prayer. Prayer is an important piece of this, guys, because you want direction in your life. You better be praying. I put this out, I, I get it all the time in prayer, guys. But this one was 5 a.m., time to pray. Why 5 a.m.? Because there's nothing going on if you don't want it to be. You don't have to have your phone on, you don't have to have your computer on, you don't have to have anything on. No distraction from your wife or your husband or your kids, unless you want it. You're starting the day, guess what? That's your first fruits. 
You're giving your life to God. God, I need some help. God, I need some direction. God, my favorite thing to do, one of my most favorite things to do, Jesus, what would you do? I don't know. I'm kind of lost like a goose in high grass. Raw, guys. He, uh, you know, he wants us raw. I pray all the time, guys. I've been, got saved in 1980. Long journey, guys. This is not my first rodeo, but I still need direction. Daily, the daily bread. Man, I've st I've, I'm recently, I'm paying, not paying for it, but man, I'm in some errors that I made in my life. I was following the will of God, but I deviated just enough from it to kind of, kind of get screwy at best. So now you know what? I'm not looking for God to get me through it. Bail me out. Help me out. No, I'm looking for his direction. What are you trying to show me in this, God? What do I need to... Well, I want your direction. Even if it's correction, but I want his direction. I don't want anything from anybody in this. I don't want anything from God. I don't want to try to manipulation as a spirit of witchcraft anyhow. I don't want anything. God's direction in my life. Divine direction. You should too. That's the knowledge that we should be seeking. Not this breaking news from CNN and all the other pundits or whomever. And turn that garbage off. Sorry. It's trash. When is the last time you heard Jesus mention that Google? Google or Facebook or Apple they take the they take the Bible uh, um, tools down because China complained well is there any truth that probably sounds about right is it right I don't know but what I'm saying is it's twisted guys because the enemy is lacking Lacking, worry, lacking being able to get back right with God. He can't anymore. He's an author of lack. Lack, you're not going to make it. Lack, you're not going to be able to retire. Lack, you're not going to have a job. Lack, you're not going to be able to get on an airplane without a mask on or a shot. Lack, you're not going to be able to go to a restaurant and eat. Lack, you're not going to be able to buy, sell, or eat. Guys, when all this mess started... And you know, they were all, everybody's like, man, the police are gonna arrest you almost. I still went out, I was about my father's business, and I didn't wear a mask. Take me to jail, I guess. Why? Because I knew it was hiding behind it. it was that lack of knowledge. Look at it, guys, I put it out there. Mark of the beast or mask of the beast. A year ago, two years ago. Hey guys, the church, suppose the church already took it. They are swallowing it hook, line, and sinker for the money. And guys, you know, I get it. We, you know, I'm not on that war path with the ministers that are preaching this prosperity false gospel. Because one of the biggest ones, 60 some thousand people. Well, why are 60,000 people following them? Because they think that God's that big ATM and if you stick a $100 bill in there, you're going to get $1,000 back. Or $100,000. Man, they're, they're just as much of a, as an issue as the preacher. He's just twisting it and using it for his personal gain. Or her personal gain. Lack. What are you lacking, guys? You got it all. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. He promised us a comforter. He promised us the wedding. See this fireplace behind me, guys? My wife and I were praying through the house one day, and I just felt led to lay my hands on the fireplace. There, I've got some dreams and visions that happen at that fireplace. But I just laid my hands on the fireplace, and the Lord spoke to me and said, Many people will talk about the wedding, the marriage supper of the Lamb. 
how good God is. He's a provider. He'll set a table before in the presence of your enemies. But they won't come to the table themselves because they don't feel worthy because they lack the faith, the backbone, the knowledge, the truth. Why? I haven't been praying and I haven't been reading your Bible. I'm guilty of it too, guys. Okay, this is not... I'm a preacher and you're a sinner. I don't even know if I'm a preacher. I don't it doesn't matter, guys. We're all called to this gospel. It's the same. I don't care if you live under the outhouse, in the outhouse, smell like the outhouse, white house, penthouse, any house. Same, guys. Black, white, green, yellow, man, woman. Same. Quit twisting stuff up. And some people got this. It's also in there. Just, I think it's First Peter. I hate this message, guys. I uh, know. I got a secret revelation. I got a secret prophecy. I'm, I'm so, I'm prophet so-and-so or whatever. And then you even read the job description. Probably not. I got the secret recipe to KSC and you don't know it. Nah, 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 boo-boo. Well, you know what the Bible says? In the book. I think it's first Peter. There's no private interpretation. Yeah, he's gonna man, give me some stuff not different, but give me some things to share with you. But he's gonna give you some things to share with me. <clears throat> man, guys. Time to get over yourself, you people that are in the ministry. Get off of this. Why do you think I put that out there? Where why do you why do you need a stage? For yourself, ego, self-will, power, so you can control, lack of knowledge. You don't want people to know. Yeah, that's why that's all that secret stuff. There's no secrets, guys. If you're praying and seeking God and reading his word. Some people will take one or two scriptures and, man, they'll just blast and beat you to death with it. Lack. We lack nothing. But it's a choice, guys. Come to him. The prodigal son. Man, when he got to where he lacked everything, then when he, he kind of came to himself. Well, the other son lived there and never left. But he still lacked. No one's father loved him. Why? The enemy is deceiving people with lack. You're not going to be able to eat. You're not going to be able to buy and sell. Man, it's not just the politicians, guys. It's not them Democrats versus Republicans. It's evil in people's hearts. They're lacking the Spirit of God. Sorry. Love you guys. Quit letting lack drive you, drive us. If you're lacking something, go to them. That's the beauty of the cross. You have an advocate, his name is Jesus. He's ever be present before the throne of grace on your behalf. The blood of the lamb. We lack nothing. been there not that long ago I was like man I was because I was facing some pretty serious physical challenge actually about three of them guys that are all every one of them life-threatening honestly pretty some of them are pretty brutal I'll spare you the details and I went to God and I was like man God you want me to do this but I really don't have anything God I'm just I was discouraged guys like man I just I don't have anything left God I've got no strength I'm just Man, I'm wiped out in all areas of my life in this. You know what my answer was, Rob? You got everything. You got me, old God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. I, I'm going to show you this shirt. I, and then I'm going to end with this. I thought it was an attitude at first. And I almost didn't get it. Judah 
and so are you. Act like it. Get a little bit of Holy Ghost backbone, guys. And tell the world about their lack. Not today. Want to be the light? How can you be the light when we lack? Got that mentality, that twisted up. There is no lack. With the Holy Ghost, when you're full of the Holy Ghost, there is no lack. When you brought it before the cross, of Jesus, when you brought it before Jesus, there is no lack. When you go to God, there is no lack. When you're digging in your word and prayer and supplication, anxious for nothing. I don't know every single verse in the Bible, guys, and man, that's one of the, you know, some, one of the issues I'm facing is a brain disconnect in the physical realm, but I still pray. I might not be the sharpest knife in the drawer, but I know where to go. Love you guys. You don't like anything. Love you. Bye-bye.